<coughs> Welcome, my name is Grant Thompson and I'm a student at Dakota State University studying computer science and computer game design. The video you're about to see was produced for MCOM 353, a course on digital media communications. My project, How to Critically Analyze a Video Game, is about looking at a video game and creating useful critiques that can be useful for both you and the creator. If you'd like to leave any comments, please do. Thank you. It is common when playing video games to come up with opinions about the experience as it's being played. What is harder is to take those opinions and turn them into useful critiques. In this video, I will explain how to take the general observations and opinions and turn them into feedback that is productive and constructive. When I am approaching video games, I usually focus my attention into three areas. Narrative and storytelling, gameplay and mechanics, and all other auxiliary elements. In this video, I will be using Borderlands 2 for my examples. Narrative and storytelling involves more than just the adventure being told. It involves world building, as well as level design. For example, in Borderlands 2, the narrative is the dialogue from the characters, as well as the environmental details and how the world is laid out. Overall, it is a strong and compelling narrative that tells a vibrant story and actually gets you invested into the characters. Gameplay mechanics tend to be the heart and soul for most video games. From how the game is being played, to the experience it provides, gameplay is a crucial part to any video game. In Borderlands 2, the first person shooter gameplay is tight and responsive. All the mechanics in the game help support the experience. Finally, there are the auxiliary elements. These pieces of the game are important to the overall theme of the game. The reason I call them auxiliary elements is because it's harder to compare one game to another because every game has a style or theme they want to achieve. It's how these elements support the theme and style that is important. In Borderlands 2, the cell shaded art style as well as the music direction all help support the dystopian theme and give a cohesive and thorough experience. So as you can probably tell, I enjoy Borderlands 2 and rate it fairly highly. But it is my hope that from explaining why I think these are great experiences, that you can make better critiques in the future. Thank you.